I'll bet we can eliminate an answer choice that I know is not going to be enough time to fill that thing up. Uh, you're talking about D? That looks, uh, well, that looks like a lot. That looks like a lot, <laughs> right? Because if we're multiplying the number of gallons by the number of minutes, which we said we are, right? Mm -hmm. Then D is going to be way too big. Is that clear why D is going to be way too big? Yeah. That would have to be like an annoying, like, I don't know, like an Olympic sized swimming pool. <laughs> right? But even yeah. like, even if you think about it logically, you've got a 150 gallon tub, and if you have water flowing at a rate of, you know, 1.5 gallons per minute, 2,000 minutes is a really, that's, that thing is going to be so overflowing. I mean, again, that would be like an Olympic sized swimming pool, I'm guessing. So, I, yeah, I, I would get rid of D. There's another one I think is just too small. A? I think A is way too small, right? Remember, because we said after four minutes, there's six gallons. You know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking about the rate it's water flowing. After six right. minutes, there's only, there's only, there's only, wait, wait, after four minutes, there's six gallons. So after 10 minutes, am I going to have 150 gallons? No. No. Does that make sense? Why? That's just silly. If you understand the question, if you understand the scenario, if you think in concrete terms, A and D are both silly. A is way too small. B is way too big. 